Today I'm adjusting the valves on this little easy go golf cart. It's got the Robin twin cylinder engine. First thing you're going to want to do is take out these six bolts. 10 millimeter. Put them somewhere safe. Pop off your valve cover. And this is what we're looking for. According to the service manual, the valve clearance should be four thousandths. And it says during engine reassembly ugh, to check it uh, at four thousandths. So I'm assuming that's cold. So that's what we're going to go with. Four thousandths, engine's cold. You're going to want to turn the clutch the direction the engine spins until one of the lobes is pointing down. Whatever lobe's pointing down could be the first one you check, which is this one. So I have the four thousandths feeler gauge. That actually feels really good. And just to double check, we'll try the five thousandths and see if that fits. And it does fit, so it's a little loose. So we're going to back off this. These are normally a 10 millimeter with like a flat blade screwdriver you'd put in there to hold it, but for whatever reason, this one's different. It's a nine millimeter, which is fine. And then these little squares, there are special tools, but you don't need it. All you have to do is after you back off your jam nut, you put your four thousandths in there, and then you turn that little square piece just slightly, like barely anything. Back off the nut, barely anything, and then tighten the nut back by hand, and you should be able to slide the four thousandths in there, and then slowly snug that down. Now, if you do it like that, it'll slightly move that square head so this fits nice and snug. Yeah, um, and then we're going to try the five thousandths, and the five thousandths doesn't fit. You're going to want to repeat that on the next, we're going to do this one cylinder. So we're going to do one cylinder at a time. So we'll just keep rotating until that lobe is pointing straight down. And check it with the four thousandths. Slides in there nice, a little bit of resistance. We'll see what the five looks like. Of course I lose it. There we go. And the five doesn't fit so that one's perfect so then you're going to want to just keep doing that do that on the next two and you're all set and in case you're wondering why i'm checking it here that's what the service manual states so that's where i'm going to check it but you can also check it here like you traditionally would there's just not as much room and actually if you get four thousands here you should get four thousands here it's usually identical so yeah, just repeat those steps on the next cylinder, rotate it by hand a few rotations, check them all again one more time, put your valve cover back on, and then uh, you're good to go. I will leave a couple screenshots of the service manual right here.